What we're asking Bowdoin to do is to look at its portfolio and if it's investing in fossil fuels to delete those investments and invest other, in other places that are good for the, good for the planet. Because fossil fuels are what are causing the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is causing global warming. The focus has to be on how much fossil fuel you use, how much the world uses, and setting policies and taking steps to decrease the use of fossil fuels. I know that divestment works because in the early 1960s I was on the Columbia campus at the time that the movement to divest from get rid of your investments in South Africa to end apartheid was going on and it worked and it worked then, it will work now. We support the Bowdoin students who are active on campus trying to also raise this awareness to this global issue of reducing carbon emissions in the atmosphere. Divesting out of uh, companies that are carbon producers uh, and uh, raising awareness of the companies that they have to look for alternative energies. Uh. We know that the technology exists to make the world a better place and regards to energy, we have wind, we have the sun, and we have the ocean. It's not just the effect on the environment, on the ecology in me, but it's, it can also have an effect on the economy in certain ways that people I don't think have realized who are so tied into this idea that oil is just going to bring more jobs. There's no alternative to that. If you notice my t-shirt, if we followed what the Native Americans did, thinking about the next seven generations, we would never even think about doing something like this. In my hand here is a photo of an oil spill near Marshall, Michigan, which has traveled, it's gotten into the groundwater, and it's traveled into the Kalamazoo River. This happened in 2010, and because tar sands sink to the bottom, they still haven't figured out how to clean it up. It's a horrible, horrible problem. And also, our government is supporting tar sands, which is criminal. Incidents of diseases like eastern equine encephalitis increasing here in Maine because of the northern push of the uh, mosquito population. I uh, am very distressed about that. I studied viruses in graduate school. I'm angry at the uh, fossil fuel industry for their deceit, uh, the tens of millions of dollars they've put into distorting climate science. No. <laughs> to the tens of millions of dollars that they put into distorting the political process, to standing in the way of effective change and the transition to clean energy. The Credo pledge is that we will risk arrest if the president is going to sign, looks like the president will sign the, the Keystone Pipeline permit, and 75,000 people have signed that pledge. So there are demonstrations going on, one of which is in Boston this coming Monday because that's where the Secretary of State is from, who will have a lot to do with whether that permit gets signed or not. It's an awfully big gift that we have to just be alive on this planet, and it's really up to us to take care of it. So I would be so proud of if Bowdoin, if they said, you know what? It's really important that we think about the grandchildren of these students and their grandchildren and really just invest in things that are good for the planet and be careful not to invest in things that are not good for the planet. Hockey stick has the symbol symbolism that for thousands of years the carbon dioxide loading in the atmosphere was stable. And then about a hundred or so years ago when we started burning fossil fuels for industrial and transportation purposes, it started to increase. And the increases have just gotten more and more and more accelerated. 
And so that's known as the hockey stick phenomenon, where it starts out with a, a slight rise, and as you go through time, the rises get faster and faster and faster, known as the hockey stick phenomenon.